Welcome to Max Movie Reviews. Today I'm reviewing the historical horror Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, directed by Timur Bekma. How do you say his name again? Take two. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, directed by Timur Beck Mambo number five. And take three. Directed by Tom Bibi Bobbidi Boo. Pull yourself together. Directed by this guy Tim. He's from Russia. That was our only usable take. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter has the best title I've ever heard. It's such a good mashup that girl talk might get jealous. Combining vampire slang with the story of America's first hipster president? Genius! Abe Lincoln was a hipster? He was killing vampires before it was cool. Also, a stovepipe hat and a beard without a mustache? That look has to be ironic, Hans. He's more than just a beard and a hat, Max. He freed the slaves. Yeah, but freeing slaves was more Moses' thing. He was freeing slaves before it was cool. This is all covered in my upcoming history textbook, Max's Guide to World History. I hope they explain your Ewok fur hat somewhere in there. This movie has an awesome title, but that's where the awesomeness ends. This movie has more misfires than a defective Civil War cannon. Whoa there, you didn't like a movie called Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter? That's like the most ironic hipstery title ever. But the movie is totally humorless, Hans. The only joke is in the title. Sort of like Geely. Really, Max? A Geely joke in 2012? It's so old it's cool again. Kind of like Betty White. I couldn't believe it, but this movie is dead serious. As dead and serious as a zombie librarian. Ben Walker plays Abraham Lincoln so stiffly that I assume his performance was based on the robot in Disney's Hall of Presidents. Now I'm thinking Abe Lincoln Master of the Transformers would have been a better idea. How about Al Gore Robot King? <laughs> Al Gore? And you thought my Geely reference was dated. When Abe was a little boy, a vampire kills his mom, thus setting out on a quest for revenge. Now this I understand. If any vampires out there are watching this, stay away from my mother. I'm the only one who's allowed to use her for nourishment. Abe meets Henry Sturgis, a pale mysterious man who looks and dresses like all the other vampires. But hey, maybe he's not a vampire. The movie wastes too much time on slowly revealing Henry's backstory. I don't want to spoil anything, but Henry's basically like, Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but you're Abe Lincoln, so kill me maybe. You're a hipster, Max. You've gotta stop listening to Carly Rae Jepsen. Hans, let me explain. You see, this red ball represents mainstream culture, and this blue ball represents hipster culture. Oh, uh, no! Looks like you dropped the ball worse than the director of this movie. <laughs> oh, finally a good joke from Hans. Anyway, Henry trains Lincoln to fight vampires with a silver-tipped axe. And maybe the best part of the movie is there's a fun montage of Abe decapitating and burying vampires. The action parts of this movie were fun enough. I mean, at one point a vampire throws a horse at Abe Lincoln. But the movie is totally weighed down by trying to give history lessons every now and then. Take a drink from your bottle every time a historical figure awkwardly announces their name. Mary Todd, Stephen Douglas, Harriet Tubman. You black out before the 30 minute mark. Eventually Abe becomes president. The Civil War starts and all of a sudden the vampires are fighting for the Confederacy because slaves are their favorite food. So Abe has no choice but to try to make silver cannonballs to fight them. That sounds hilarious. Are you sure there isn't some other reason you hate this movie? Abe killed so many vampires but somehow didn't kill Robert Pattinson. Come on, man! How am I ever going to get my hipster queen Kristen Stewart if we don't get that sparkly loser out of the way? Help my brood out! And so, I give this movie a dirty olden timey cloth diaper. They totally squandered the opportunity to make this fun and campy. Maybe they had the idea backwards all along. I mean, Buffy the Illinois state legislator probably would have been more fun. Got any ideas for monster movies starring other historical figures? Tell me in the comments below. Well, it's time to say a the same. I'm sensing ein Stinker coming through mine underground railroad. Hans, get mine changing table ready! They don't pay me nearly enough for this. <laughs> uh, Max, hey.
Actually, this is good. If you can look at the camera.